All right, are you ready? I'm going to spin. We did all of these roll legs. The January spinner surprise. We're just going to grab them at random. You can see this has a ton of it. And we're just going to spin. consistently whoops no just slight thick slight thin and then when it has a knot of that uh, thread that's okay let it have a knot but just slightly thick and thin that's how we're gonna spin this when it gets to bigger points that's okay thinner points that's okay we like it when the thread is on top of the roving, not stuck and hiding inside the roving. So here's a chunk of thread. Some of it was on top, some of it hid within. We really like, we want some, we don't want this to be a consistent yarn. You want some thicker and thinner pieces in here. We're not gonna create bobbles with this yarn. We'll spiral ply this yarn, but we don't want this all one consistent yarn. This has fun, this has silk thread in it. We, we want this to be, have some texture to this yarn. you're going to be spiral applying this. You're going to apply this with thread. I was really excited after I got done hand curving the first ounce of this. Ooh, that was too thin. It was too thin. And just correct. But I was really excited to spin this out in one way. Spin it right away. I like that 
these. See, there's, like I said, it's primarily your blues, primarily your whites. And the cool thing is, this looks different from how it's going to look when it's spiral applied because we're using a rainbow thread to spiral apply this. Here's another one. 90 degree join. Perfect. It's a good join. Thicker section, thinner. A little bit of a piece of yellow in there. A little bit of red. When I look at this yarn, I just I think there's so many things you could do. It's just such a beautiful creation. And this spins up fast when you're spinning it thick and thin. Like subtle thick and thin. It'll spin up very fast. We're coming up on a blue thread section. You really can see that coming through in the yarn. When I think of this yarn, I think this would be a really fun scarf. So, being if I had this, I would take uh, a very, perhaps like really dark navy and white, and then this yarn, and I would make a scarf with uh, this yarn and those other two colors of yarn, and that would make it pretty cool. Pretty cool scarf. Well, maybe we'll make this yarn and we'll make a pattern specifically for this yarn with a scarf. It's been a long time since I did a scarf. I think I have some maybe yarn. There's a huge section of thread there. So that's okay if that happens. No worries. No worries at all. That's just part of how the yarn is. It's okay to have those lumps and bumps. It's just fun the way it is. A little bit more tension though in this. You know, my temptation is to spin this evenly though, which this would be, this would be difficult to spin evenly because the thread creates areas that are very different from the roving. And like this is a chunk of thread that spins up differently than the roving. section. Oh, those are going to be so fun. When you get these super thick thread sections in there with those silk thread sections, that's going to be, that's going to be really fun to work with. I'm very excited about this yarn. This is great. This is great yarn. It's been a long time since we were really jumping back into art yarn, but it seems about time. Next. Move down to the next truck. That way it loads on the bobbin a little bit more evenly. And as you can see, there's not super big bumps in this. This is not super thick, not super thin. That piece would have got super thin. When that happens, we just load it back on like this. And we need a new section. Let's see. Oh, after this, we just, after this swan in my hand right now, we only have three more Rolex left to spin up. It's hardly anything. super fast doing this. The twist can be added quite easily. Because this is not a super thin yarn, the roving's not super thin, the thread, these pieces of thread are thicker. So the, that's a big section. The way this wants to spin, this wants to spin more thick. And that's okay, we're gonna let it spin a little bit more thick. 
of a darker piece of that blue roving. That's just the camera, the GoPro. I had left it on, it beeps like that when it turns itself off after a certain amount of time that I don't know. Sometimes I just forget to turn it off. Thread, white and thread, that's going to be fun if I can get that to spin on the outside. There we go. All right. After this, three more. This has a ton. This has an absolute ton of thread in it. Join this on. This is super cool. Super cool. There's a lot of colors. A lot of colors coming in on that. I need to adjust the tension a little bit more on this. And so two more rollings left. So spinning yarn, one of the things in one of the videos I was talking about in the um, bonus member section, oh, that's a big lump, that's okay. In the bonus member section, we were discussing how to get really, really good at things. And you know, last year I had studied, or two years ago, I had studied, um, I had studied that and wanted to figure out, okay, and one of the things I've mentioned and that I learned is there's this average, that it's about an average of taking 10,000 hours to get to like an expert level. So you want to get really good, you want to get to like a professional expert level at spinning yarn, expect to put in approximately 10,000 hours of spinning. And it goes by fast. <laughs> Especially when you spin yarn like this. This is a great yarn. If you've been spinning consistently for a while, this is a great yarn to spin to help you get a different feel. If you've been spinning, if you're new to spinning, this is a great yarn to spin because this is a very forgiving yarn. This isn't a yarn that you have to spin consistent and perfect. You absolutely don't have to. You shouldn't, in fact, um, the way we're spinning if you want to mimic this. So this is, you know, this is really a good yarn. All right. Second to last one. That was not a good join. I don't know if you saw that. That wasn't wasn't my best join. And sometimes, a little bit of times that the thread or the fiber gets stuck on the hooks because we're spinning with the Ashford Elizabeth too. The Ashford Elizabeth too. The spinning wheel, as you guys know, it is designed to spin consistent, thin, traditional yarns. This is not designed for our yarns. This is not. But you can see we can make the wheel do it. We can ask the wheel to do it. We can say, okay, this is what we want. This is, and we can, you know, we can work with it for a little bit. And then at some point, sometimes it just rebels. Oh, I can't wait to fly this. This is going to be fun. That was a big section. <laughs> Every time there's bigger chunks, perfectly fine. Is absolutely okay in this yarn. Nothing wrong with that. Very forgiving yarn. Very, very forgiving yarn. In between this video and the flying video, we're going to have to stop and have a conversation with the children in the outside room, asking them to please, what on earth is that baby? And the stack. Mr. Razzle Dazzle watching the children. All right, last row leg. Here's that red. Let it go on top. And we will, yep, move that, good. It's loading on the bobbin, good, where I want it to. section coming up here, green thread. and rejoin in a different manner. That red is now back here, right in the front again. And we're going to take that red. This red is going to give us a little bit of grief. Open it up a bit. And then let it join on with the rest. So 
I could adjust tension in this. And then this big section of thread again. That's okay. I'm drafting quite big sections here and there. Got to remember to not make it perfect. To remind myself, you might find you have to remind yourself as well. We have our thread with us. It's right behind me there. Cannot wait. Cannot wait to spiral fly this and then take it off. This is going to be wonderful. Really exciting here. Switch out bobbins now. You can also ball, you can do a center pole ball and wind this on if you want. Let me show you a close up of this on the bobbin of how this looks. It's going to take the camera a little bit to zoom in. There you are. So that's our January spinner surprise fiber. We spun up an ounce of it and we are going to uh, fly the fiber next. This is moving, it's making the camera all confused. Zoom in, camera. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching and we hope that the next time we see you, we'll be on the next video.